Hello everybody and welcome back to Sven Plays Starbound 1.0. We are ready to dive into the Grand Pagoda Library. Now, this particular mission isn't very enemy heavy. However, I am still under equipped for the mission and there is a reasonably challenging boss later on in the game. Uh, later on in the level I should say. So, I'm going to have to be careful because if I underestimate the damage again I could, well, have a repeat of last time. Thankfully, we actually have a system in place so that when you go into instances, normally the instances are reset when all players leave them. Uh, but we had to sort of make sure players couldn't lose all their valuable stuff, like all their ores and stuff in missions where they couldn't go back to get them. Uh, so if you die on a mission, you don't drop your things, but it's still just really inconvenient in general, so I would recommend caution. Is someone there? The library's motion sensors are picking up a signal. You have to help me. I'm sorry, my name is Koichi. I'm here researching great high local thinkers, but these villains showed up. Violent criminals. I fled to the basement. I'm barricaded in here with an artifact they seem to want to steal. I'm sorry to impose, but please rescue me. I'll open the entrance hatch. I'm not sure why I gave him such an obnoxious, like, nasally twang. Oh, it's a book. Ah, I ain't big strong. This is one of the writings by the community. This guy actually has this really cool blog full of like journal entries by his character Iron Beak, and often they're accompanied by really nice illustrations. Uh, if you haven't heard of it before, I'd suggest checking it out. If you just Google Iron Beak's journal Starbound, you should find it. It's well worth a read. I'm not gonna read it all here because it's seven pages of stuff, but there's a lot more writing than what's here. Yeah, break all the trance. I'm hoping there might be some secret looting to be had over here. Alas, no. Did I get to break some stuff? Actually, I've never actually checked. I wonder if there's something down here. Something underneath the island. Because there is actually meant to be a complete armor set on this island that you can get. But I've never personally actually checked around the island. Like, I've always just gone into the facility and... Oh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. What's in here? Is it rare costume bits? Maybe some pirate gold? Oh! 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 I'd forgotten what set of armor this mission had. Oh! I might hold off until I have the full set for that one, but oh, I know what set this is, and I'm totally jazzed to have the entire set. Alright. I don't know if I can go very far beyond this limits. I don't think the other pieces are outside of it. I think this is like the one and only exception. But that's so cool. I am ready. To wear a bitchin' hat. Alright. I suppose you should go help this- This point Dexter is character! I'm changing his voice again, I don't know why. Please help me! Mm. Ride them rails down. All the lights coming on, it's all moody and shit. Ain't nobody got time for moody shit. God damn. Current exterior pressure reading 15 quash. Scans show the structure is capable of withstanding in excess of 80 squash. Uh, quash. Chances of survival surprisingly high. This library is suffering from sorry neglect. I'm afraid you might need to take the long way around. Well, aren't you helpful? But I can assist you. I can monitor the library through these odd holographic projection displays. <laughs> That's just great for you maybe hey ain't going that way don't go too far I will go as far as I damn well please I'm the captain hmm just pots to break break everything because reasons train train the water for me and hmm I apologize for you having to stumble around in the dark. There's a breaker for the room nearby. 
Oh, really? Aren't you well informed? You know, I just realized I'm doing is Roger from <laughs> America Dead. <laughs> kind of. Oh my god, no, 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 no! <laughs> that guy. Hmm. I'm keeping an eye out for any secrets. Because I had no involvement really in this one either, so I don't really know where the secrets are hidden. But I'm going to assume that's one of them. I know this library is in disrepair, but it isn't it still wondrous? So many resources! <laughs> okay, yeah. Thousands of years of literature, art, and essay. Mm hmm. Did you know the texts here predate our near extinction at the hands of the Florin hordes? Well, no, but I'm sure that's amazing. If only I was the bookish type. Oh, that looks like the way I meant to go. And I can't go down here, can I? Nope. Alright, onward! Into the depths of the pagoda library. Die, fishy! Oh, they hit hard. Let's not have a repeat of that. Roof tiles! I can't open that. Nope. Anything to watch for? I suppose I could just do this to see what's going on. Hmm. No secrets? Secrety secrets? Hello, secrets! I am looking for you. Whoop. There is just water everywhere in this place. Sweet airlock recipe. <laughs> Sweet airlock recipe, bro. No! About the trash! Nothing. There is nothing of the trash. Why would you think there are things in the trash? Alright, start draining. Mm, what if his boxes have anything? Can I open this? Cool. That actually might speed up the draining here, too. Just a little bit. Nothing! Oh, that's disappointing. Are you ready to open yet? Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. The library's motion sensors are picking up movement below your location. Please be careful down there. These people are violent thugs. Well, if you say so. I don't know who you're talking about. I totally don't know who you're talking about. I have no involvement in this game, so why would I know what you're talking about? I certainly don't work on this game, or have worked on this game for the last four and a half years. Nope, that's not me. I've never done that. And it's, uh, hmm. Not sure what that did. It did something. Ooh. Gotta remember that, that that stuff hurts if I let it touch me. This just leads me back up to the earlier spot. Yes. Ow. That was a bit careless. Just the spot. I'm not sure what that switch actually did. Maybe it's an optional thing. It's opened up somewhere else. Alright, down we go then. Freedom! Ship is prepped. I hear it humming. Pulse is pounding. Heart is thrumming. Many nog guards are close behind. Fear and panic floods my mind. Light glows green. I waste no time. I punch the throttle. Do the crime. Neon signs are rushing past. Obey big ape or be an outcast. I know I never can return, but as the warp drive starts to burn, I vow to set my people free from their life of slavery. I cannot leave them behind bars while I am free, bound to the stars. Bound for the stars. Derp. It was only like halfway through reading that I realized I was actually reading a poem, and then I started actually reading it like a poem. Uh, that was a bit silly on my part. Took me a little while to realize that. It was pretty obvious in retrospect. Hello! These are cultists. They are friendly people. Uh, uh, get. Oh yeah, I forget you are like a good level or so above me, so you are not taking much damage from this. Otherwise, pretty powerful hammer. Oh Jesus, you hit hard. Ah, no, go away. I don't want it. Her bones. Uh oh, those bones are not knocking you around. <laughs> okay, okay, need to think this. Oh, did one fall as death? Oh, you've got a sniper rifle. What am I doing? 
Yeah. Look, not so tough now, are you? But you're, you're dead. I often forget I have guns. Why am I bringing, like, bones to a gunfight? And that actually does pretty good damage, all things considered. Hold still and stop hopping. Stop it. Stop it. Well, that was just me missing that time. Eh. Learn to aim. Eh. Nose. Stab it. This is awful. I'm awful. Why are things awful? Oh, not going that way. Flashlight. I should be using the shotgun, actually. Shotgun would be probably a better choice in this environment. If I'm having to stay more mobile. The room ahead is flooded. I have to swim through. I think you're going to have to do the same. Oh, thanks. More roof tiles. Okay. Hit me with it. Now, before I swim on through, I seem to recall there was a chest up here. Where are you? There you are. Hello, mama. While we welcome scholars to the newly rediscovered Grand Pagoda Library, we ask that all visitors take care within the building. We entreat you not to handle the more fragile books and beseech you not to enter areas that are clearly unsafe. We would like to remind our learned kin that common sense is just as important as wisdom. Sage advice. Sage advice from the high little people. I'm going to run out of inventory space, aren't I? I should use up my throwing axes actually on my Molotovs. Molotov is a good one to try and use up because then he's got two. And maybe the hunting spears? I'm not really using them anymore after all. They still do decent damage. Anyone else down here? Oh, yeah, I'm forgetting the obvious. I have guns with flashlights on them. Uh, do I go up? Is is this where I'm meant to go? I'm actually not sure. This is decidedly less damaging than I thought it would be. It's probably because it's a small target. Versus the sniper. I mean, it does have a firing rate that's half the speed, of course. Looks like that is the way I'm meant to go, so... Yeah. Just double check there's no other sort of secrets here. Oh, okay. Going up then. Onward through the High Lotto Library. I'm afraid that this is the last holographic display. Be careful. I hope to see you soon. There's going to be an episode down the line where I completely forget what voice I gave him. And I'm just going to be like, uh... Yeah, just like that. Wait, open... Alright, uh, oops, I did not get onto that the way I should have. I think I was holding down at the time. And... Oh, this just leads me back up to the top. Well, that's no good. Why is there an archive up there? No, now I have to get up there and find out what's inside, but... I'm gonna need a rope, I think. Upsie daisy. All this for a book. It better be a really good book. The Mininog Issue Joke Book. <laughs> okay. Why did the High Lot all cross the stream? To get to the other tide! <laughs> <clears throat> Why do avians manage the worst sports bars? Because they never have any wings! <laughs> this is stupid. What do you call a comrade who is behaving in an unorthodox manner? It doesn't matter. Tell Mininog. Well, that sounds pretty serious. Question. Uh, a rebel, a traitor, and a worthless excuse for a comrade walk into a bar. 
The man is quickly detained. Thank you for your patriotism, comrade. What gets bigger the more you take from it? A grave. Remember, comrade, unorthodox behavior often ends in terrible accidents. Oh, this, this book is taking a turn for the dark. What do you get when you mix free thinking and rebellion? The privilege of a brief vacation. Yeah, the Mininok live a pretty harsh lifestyle, don't they? What do you call a room with 50 comrades in it? A wonderfully designed and comfortable Mininog issued detainment room. This is, this is messed up, man. I, I don't know how I feel about the Mininog so-and-sos. It's very dark, and I just really, I'm really low health, so I should not be just casually walking around with, like, nothing. Uh, I had to go down, right? There we go. Wee. Oh, hello. It's pretty good for the damage as, as far as rapid fire. I've got a straight shot here instead of a. All right, here we go. Eat my poison! Oh, you broke my shield already! Oh, yeah, I've been using the same shield for quite a while. Blueprints, cool. I already know that blueprint. That's alright. Javelins. These must be some of the strongest throwing spears in the game. Ah, uh, I got too much stuff. I've been forgetting to use the things I mean to be using. Um, uh, I don't want to get rid of anything I've got really, but I guess I'll get rid of the books since they're not worth all that much. It's only like five pixels. Like this is worth more pixels than this is. All right, and I don't think I can go through here. Can I? No, but I, I should really at least use the Molotovs up. Uh, ah, is there anything up there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, doke. And down into the abyss we go. Hmm. It's, uh, very dark in here. Oh, hello. Get all up in your face so you have no time to react. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow! Jesus! Okay. Phew. Alright, before I proceed... I think there was a secret up here. Oh, I'm remembering it correctly. Oh, yes. Awesome. No inventory space. Well, you can get lost. I'll read you. Regarding the Grand Pagoda Library. Structural integrity is broadly good, though some fail safes have been triggered by damage. The majority of the library and its contents are intact. Our estimates suggest 60% of the library is in good condition, while 25% is poor, and only 15% severely poor. With the modern techniques available to us, repair and reconstruction should take little time. Then we'll be able to bring in the binders and restorers, and soon enough hire a new librarian. Oh, that's nice. Well, now that I've read that. Boop. And now that I've got the full set. Uh. Oh, duh. Sweet. I'd probably dive as cape, like yellow, just so it's a. I don't know, red it actually doesn't look bad. I'd probably dye it yellow or blue. Maybe even black. Now then. Uh, hello. Just for the fact that I can keep these guys a good distance away with this, I'm probably better off using this than the shotgun. Uh, hmm. Poisoned. And. Yes. Yes. I should probably make a point of just routinely poisoning them at the start of the fight and then use the sniper. Just allow the poison to do bonus damage for me basically for free. There we go. There is an efficiency method. Now then. I don't think there's any more secrets in this one. I'm not sure. Maybe up here. Spike balls so freaking cool. <laughs> I love this thing. Anything? Couple of pots. 
It looks like that's all. Nothing on the other side. Sure doesn't look like it, does it? Alright. Yeah, I bet you were worried for a second there, weren't you? He's got a photo stiff, man! Uh-oh. Let's get the poison on. Alright. Almost done. You know, your guns are really kind of painful. Come on, take a shot. I'll block it. Well, I didn't block that last one because I got a bit too close, but... You get the point. I am clearly better than you at being a fighter. Alright. So bring it on. What lies ahead? Gee, I don't know. I have no clue whatsoever. Ha! Huh. Are you Esther's puppet? So she's gathering more minions. You know you're in way over your head, don't you? I pity you in a way, having your strings pulled by that withered hag. Never mind! Time to die! <laughs> and so this is uh, Ezra Nox. Ah, God. She just generally doesn't like Esther. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, wrong weapon. Shit. Alright, it means you're burning. Hello. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Maybe she just used my Molotov when she drops. Well, she doesn't burn. Why don't you burn, lady? Hello. Yeah, I'm safe up here. Uh oh. Crazy lady. Uh oh. This is always the worst part. Ow, 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 ow. And while I wait, take this opportunity. If you hit me while I'm next to you, you're gonna feel it. I'm just gonna, just gonna hang out up here for a minute. <laughs> See if there's one way you can sort of cheese the boss if you were so inclined. It's when she starts doing this you need to get down. Uh, 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 uh. I'm just gonna sit up here on the wall. Don't mind me. While you're messing around, I'm gonna sit up my. <laughs> I'm such a douche. Sit here on this wall. Okay, here comes the spinny magoo. Oh god. Oh, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. oh god, that hurts. Oh. Die, 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 die. A little close there. You win this time, woe is me. But it's too late to stop what's happening. Let Esther know there is no hope. <laughs> By the way, that 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 that's a woman. I just didn't want to try to do a maniacal laugh in a woman's voice because uh, I wouldn't even know where to begin. You're here. You've made it. You've defeated those cowed villains. <laughs> so you're here for this artifact too. How intriguing. I think it's best to entrust it to you. A reward for your decency. It's certainly not safe here. But um. May I come with you? This object, the artifact, I would love to know more. Sure, why not? You seem suitably nerdy and helpful to the cause. Some sort of sigil? Hmm. No secrets up here? Doesn't look like it, but you never know. George is the one who basically designed this particular mission, and I know he likes putting secrets in places that no one would think to look. I mean, just think back to where that first one was. But it looks like this is all secreted out. <gasps> Many things. Oh, I don't know where to begin. Uh, well, let's read Nox's journal. 
The universe is ours by rights. It belongs to the humans. The Ocasus members might not understand much, but at least they grasp that. They exult in their supremacist rhetoric and scamper around, spreading their hate. But they just can't fathom the genesis of what's happening here. Still, better an army of morons than no army at all. Esther would understand if she could only see past her flawed imaginings. People have a way of letting their own agendas blind them. She's an adult fool, obsessed with unity and harmony, and completely unable to see what's right in front of her. She'll learn. My old teacher will learn. She's an ice tip bug in the path of an avalanche. I read that very melodramatically. Anyway, on to other things. An uncommon sniper rifle that I can use to detonate enemies. That is almost certainly going to be an improvement. Damage-wise, it's... Wait, I keep looking at the wrong thing. Damage-wise, it's not as high, but it shoots faster. So, it shoots more than twice the speed. So, when you factor that in, its DPS is better. And also, I can set enemies to detonate. And it's electric as well. So, if I put the dart on someone, it will electrify nearby. Like, if you get a group of enemies and you use the darts, the darts in themselves don't do any direct damage, but they can apply statuses. So, if, for example, if you had a burning one, you could use it to set a low health enemy to detonate in a few seconds, for example. It's a bit tricky to use, but if you can pull it off, you can do some big damage to groups of nearby enemies. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of that. This hammer, the damage on that baby looks pretty... Four. It's basically the same ability as well, so... Well, that the other one's a tidal wave sort of thing, but... Hey. Oh, I haven't got me from my capture point. Uh, where's the other book? I had another book, right? No, oh, maybe I don't. Okay, I guess I'll get rid of this. I've already got the recipe anyway. Okay. The great thinkers tell us that experience is the mother of wisdom. I am going to become so wise! Uh, okay. Well, Koichi seems happy. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? Uh, that's a seven page thing. I don't think I'm going to read this. It's a little bit long. Just a little bit. And I already got this recipe, don't I? Yes, I do. And pixels. Sure. Whew. Onward to the Ark. Progress is being made through this campaign. Significant progress in the last few episodes. Feels so good. Oh, I did have still a book in my inventory. Oh, well. Uh, if I could turn this in, Esther's gonna have a reward bag. Eh, I'll just get rid of this. It's not worth all that much money. Hey, Nero! Well done for saving the artifact, dear! They're powerful objects and not safe in the wrong hands. In the meantime, what's in this bag, lady? A manipulator module? Girl, you know what I like. Avian's next, I think. Probably best to go to planets where jungle terrain is in abundance. Avians like to inhabit such places. You'll find these kinds of planets around radioactive stars. See you soon, dear. Be careful and happy hunting. And here is Koichi. I was thinking of opening a museum. Do you think Florence like things like that? I'd like to get to know Nuru better. I know I'm giving him a completely different voice. <clears throat> I'd really like to get to know Nero better. Anyway, I need exhibits. Could you please bring me a grand avian sarcophagus? You're most likely to find one in an avian tomb. Yeah, I yeah. am. Now, I don't... I'm, I'm maybe getting my playthrough mixed up. I can't remember if I already have one or not. So let's head to my ship and find out. If I've already got one, fantastic. But if I don't, well, that's a shame. A crying shame. Hmm. It is starting to look like I was thinking of my uh, my in-office playtest playthrough, which makes me a bit sad. Means I have to, well, I guess I'll turn up while I'm doing the quest for it anyway. 
because I know there'll be a quest after where he'll want some other stuff. But I need to go sell things because I have too many things. All the things. Too much of them. Can't have that. Can't have that. Can't have all the things. All the things is too much. You know what? I think in the wake of the sniper rifle that shoots much faster, I might actually sell off my shotgun. Although it does have a flashlight on it, which is useful. But... Mm, the other consideration also for next world is I'll need to actually go hunting for ores to make my next armor set. Because I was already kind of under-leveled for that mission. And it's only going to get worse if I go to another tier of world. Anyway, uh, yes, the hammers, right, right, blanking. <laughs> I think they'll cover the bases for now. I need to put these armor things away because I'm not using them. All right, anything else? I think that about covers it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do some spring cleaning, sprucing up my ship a little bit. But I think this is as good a point as any to stop for the day because I have been recording for like three hours straight and I could use a break. So thank you so much for joining me for today's installment of Sven Plays and I hope to see you next time where we're going to tackle some avian clue hunting. Hope to see you then. Never mind! Time to die! <laughs> and so this is uh, Ezra Nox. Ah, God. She just generally doesn't like Esther. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh.